Hey everyone, it's Rick Trummer from Rick Trummer Consulting and Training and welcome to day two of the Grab Bag Series. Um, this week, or at least yesterday, I started a conversation on putting um, and editing metadata inside the ACR application or again, going through the bridge uh, to put that information on and embed information that will protect your images when you post them online um, and at least give a somewhat level of security to know that if someone does take or pull an image from you uh, that it does have some embedded information that when someone clicks on the image it'll go back to the rightful owner um, now again with that always know that if somebody actually grabs an image brings it into you know an application like photoshop or lightroom they can strip the information but it's a lot of work and most people don't go through all of that work or they don't even have the knowledge of being able to go through all that work to go grab the image and uh, strip the information from it. Today, we're going to discuss the Lightroom side. That's what I promised you yesterday. So let's go into Lightroom and figure out how to put the metadata. A lot of people would assume that the metadata area would be in the develop area. You're going to add the information while you develop. Although you can put it on here, you can't edit anything from this area. You can only add it in. So you actually have to go to the library area to be able to get, and they actually have a tab at the top that says metadata right on here, which is really, really nice. It's not hidden kind of a little bit like it was yesterday in, in kind of that bridge application. So once you click on an image here, um, these are just images that we used to uh, demonstrate lighting patterns a few months ago when we were talking about color. Um, where all you have to do is kind of come down in here and you can edit your metadata presets right here. You can also add a keyword set. Right now you can see that I've added an outdoor photograph, an outdoor photography set, a portrait, wedding, and I can go in and edit. You can also do this in the metadata area. Let's go down to the edit metadata presets and let's figure out what we can do here. You can see that everything is here that was here and even a few couple more things have been added um, in this area. But you can just click on an area here and you'll notice everything comes up in red. So you can start putting ratings on here, your name, captions, uh, your camera information. All of this stuff can be done. Here's your copyright area in the IPTC copyright area. You can actually put in, let's put in copyright Rick Trummer on here. Um, status, copywritten. You can add your usage terms here. I like to put the website right here as well. So we're going to put our um, website right there. And I actually spelled my own name wrong this morning. And we're going to be um, putting it also down below. I'll put it inside the creator information. We'll be able to do this. And here's the creator's website. So I'll actually put it in kind of in two areas to make sure that um, the information is there. And then I'll go through and do all of the information way down on the bottom here is where your keywords are. So you can actually add a bunch of keywords, type them in right here. And you can you can see that there's just a ton of different information that you want to go through and post to whatever file that you have. Now, once you do that, you're going to want to save, uh, you know, these is your current settings. So I'm going to name this as the test metadata file. And we'll just use this just briefly and we're going to create that. So now that will be inside of our area and after we get all the information we can just click on the images grab that and put all of that um all of this information right on there now of course we're going to want to fill this out more and you're going to want to have many many of these that you're going to go in one for family children whatever sessions you have once you hit the done you now have that embedded information once you go through to the process area so again small little things that you can do to help yourself uh, at least somewhat at least give you a little bit of security when you're out there and posting your images out online so tomorrow we're going to come back with some other grab bag stuff and this is what we're going to be doing for the next few days next week um, i'll be away 
um, on a meeting, but I will be posting videos all week and I will be getting all those done this weekend and posting them for next week so that while I'm gone, you'll still be able to enjoy those videos on Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. And uh, we're going to be going in more to our mixed grab bag of, of different questions that I've been getting over the last few months. So again, until tomorrow, I'm Rick Trummer from Rick Trummer Consulting and Training. I hope you're having a great day and enjoying this, scene, uh, this series, and we'll see you tomorrow.